Hey, young man. Eat my shorts. Take oh, it's a video, so you're kind of out of luck. It's all right if I turn my. All right, it's a video. Yeah. I remember sometimes when I was a when I was younger, and sometimes not really kind of being afraid to like ask him for something or ask him for help with something just because I didn't know what mood he was in. It didn't matter what kind of mood you caught him in. Peter Bundy could be the most generous person. One time is when he shot a firework at my dog, at my puppy dog. And he could throw huge tantrums. But the thing that mystified him, the thing that mystified me about him, and the thing that really informed my life was his absolute inability to change. I think this will sound negative. It's probably not as negative as, I, as it might sound, but I think I am a better person because of his example uh, in terms of how I don't want to be. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, I've, not that I didn't take plenty of positive things from him too, I, I, but in terms of not being a dick to people. I guess. That's another thing that made Apapa stand outish was his, he wasn't afraid to say what was on his mind at any given moment for good and bad. I think a sense of uh, perspective is vital. You want an answer? Okay, think of it as colors. There's black and there's white, and in between is mostly gray. That's us. Mm -hmm. Now, gray is a tough color because it's not as simple as black and white, and certainly not as interesting but it's where we are. A big part of who he was and how he turned out is uh, he was an only child. His mother was absolutely wonderful. Think of this, how he grew up, because he was kind of spoiled and pampered as a, as a kid. And we all have our moments, right? I was in like sixth grade, and I was like making fun of somebody or, or trying to thought it was funny and it was sort of a daddish kind of sense of humor. I was probably being sarcastic or something. And I was probably like 10 years old or something. So I was pretty little. But Split was like, you know, you're really being a jerk. That's not very nice to say something like that. And I didn't think anything of it at the time. But later that day, I thought, you know, she's probably right. The reason it relates to him is he didn't have any siblings that he had to get along with or yeah. compromise with or yeah. get feedback from people who were his same peer group who, who kind of could say you know you're kind of being a dick here he had all these aunts and uncles drinking playing cards cussing bad hand cussing and storming off to go home so that that was his kind of learned behavior in a sense now some of us are able to adjust that mature and find better ways for ourselves and he never did. He never really had. That's, um, I'm not sure if he always wanted to be a lawyer, but I believe so. He had gone through ROTC, which is called Reserve Officer Training Corps. And um, so because of that ROTC, and I believe he did that in college. I don't know that he did it in high school. So my dad went through this ROTC training and then he was, uh, uh, lieutenant in the uh, Korean War, I believe that was his rank. And he worked in a MASH unit, the Mobile Army Surgical Hospitals. Okay. Um, it wasn't something he ever spoke about to about. The whole experience. Well, I think a lot of what bound us together, I don't think this is exact, I'll answer your question in a minute, but I, I think that all six, used to be seven of us, uh, had a significant amount of bonding uh, with each other uh, over all the years because of him or in reaction to him. And it's 
we're still doing that right now in a sense. Mm -hmm. You have to understand like what he went through and who he was as a person and his 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 traits, his personality. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's why it's complex because for someone who doesn't know him, they just they make an assumption, they uh, think of a certain way. But it, the more you learn, the more you understand, the more you realize. Yeah, okay, there were good and bad times for sure, and moments yeah. where I feel he didn't have to react or behave the way he did, but then again it, it's who he was and um, knowing where he came from uh, in his life and in the moments you know a bit more as to why Yeah. <coughs> 